So I got off to a good start in about an hour and a half. Well, it was an hour and a half. Now I'm up to an hour and 40 minutes. Um, anyways, I got uh, $42 and 82 cents. Did some uh, a couple Safeway orders and a McDonald's order. Other than that, um, just waiting on orders. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this area since it did put me up in the Grand Mound, Rochester area. Obviously, there's nothing here. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there's good orders, but most of the time when there is, they're not good orders, which I explained before. Double mileage, you have to go one way and you have to come back. So it's five miles there. You have to come five miles back. It makes it 10 miles. 10 miles there, 10 miles back, makes 20 miles, etc. cetera. Um, anyways, so other than that, um, I got my app going a little bit better last night, started getting categories going and trying to get it to where it saves the file, pulls the categories and also, you know, pulls the video ideas and then puts them all together. That's the next step. Anyways, bye. Right, so I just got flipped out really bad by a freaking customer on Instacart. I didn't realize it, but you can actually ban customers from having to shop for them again, which is kind of nice on Instacart. You can't do that on DoorDash unless you really like talk to support. Anyway, so I don't know why, but uh, I said I don't mind adding a few items. I just don't like when shoppers tip zero and then add a mass amount of items. I once ended up with a five item order of uh, being 50 plus and hardly got anything from it. And then she's like, I'm pretty sure you've shopped for me several times. I think I'm a decent tipper. And I said, I double checked the fridge and not, okay, that was for the other items. And I said, it only shows me an amount for all three orders, which is $39, which is okay. But the amount of work plus cost between orders is a little low, but you may be the only one tipping and the others may be tipping zero. So I'm thinking that might be the case. So meaning the other customers, um, you know, are the ones that were probably tipping zero. So that's why it was kind of low. But then I got there and she flipped out bad on me, man. I might make another video on this. When I got there, she actually let her dogs out. Like they, they're like these big freaking, you know, well, one's a, uh, I don't even know, uh, what they are. I can't think off the top of my head, but they're, you know, pretty big dogs. And she just let them out, run at me, scared the crap out of me. So I jumped in my car. And then when I got to the door, she flips out about that, which she's the one that asked about the tip. The only thing that I said was, I just don't like when, you know, I accepted an order, the zero tip, and they add a mass amount of items, which I've had happen before in Instacart. And that zero tip, and when they add all kinds of items, I don't get anything for it, which I can go ahead and cancel, which I do sometimes. But yeah, when it's a percentage base, it's all good. And she was all good in the chat, but then once I got there, Man, it was just, oh my gosh. I almost took the order back because it was so bad. Um, she's probably gonna zero out the tip. She said she's not going to, but I don't even know. It was just, whatever. Hey guys, so I had another customer flip out on me uh, just a minute ago. Uh, yeah, it was actually somebody I know, <laughs> which um, kind of makes it better, but kind of makes it worse. I think she thought I was doing it on purpose, but no, I'm just accepting everything from DoorDash. And sometimes they send me a lot of orders before I deliver an order that's even slightly further away. And yeah, I think I had a double, no, I had a triple when I first had her order. So she was one of them. And then um, I delivered those and then they sent me another one, um, which I had to shop. Oh no, they sent me a Taco Bell order, which I had to do. And then, or I did, and then I they sent me another uh, Safeway order after I delivered the Taco Bell order, and they might have sent me more, but she was flipping out, and I, I she actually technically cussed at me, which I could have got her banned from DoorDash or at least you know a warning, uh, and had her order canceled if I wanted to, but no, I just wanted to uh, continue on and why you do not want to be hostile to your DoorDasher, especially cuss at them, because if you do, they can easily cancel your order. You can, they'll still get paid. On top of that, you'll most likely get banned from DoorDash, especially if you cuss at your DoorDash, uh, your DoorDasher, um, as long as they weren't cussing back. If they're cussing back, um, you're most likely, they'll, they'll most likely ban the DoorDasher and they might ban you on top of it. But um, yeah, if they're not doing anything wrong and they're just following, um, for example, if it gets super busy, so a lot of times we have to do a lot of orders before we can deliver to you. It's not exactly our faults. Um, a lot of times if you talk to the DoorDasher and you ask him if they can deliver to you uh, sooner, sometimes they'll pause the dash for you. 
especially if you offer to tip a little bit more for doing so. I do it just out of, you know, like if a customer's like, I really need this item, then I'll go ahead and do it. But yeah, that's the main thing. Anyways, bye. I forgot to eat today. So uh, I grabbed something at Safeway and um, I didn't realize it had corn in it. That is what I got to eat. It is actually pretty decent, but I'm not a big fan of corn. And um, I don't know if I should say why. It's just... Uh, it doesn't exactly digest, so I don't like eating corn because of that reason. But this is actually pretty good, and um, it was something that I figured I'd grab, and I don't like wasting food, especially when it's like $6.50, which could be worse, but still, it's, it's pretty good. And corn is actually, does taste pretty good. Especially corn on the cob. Like, I love corn on the cob. I just don't like regular corn. And that is the reason. Even corn on the cob still kind of bothers me because of that. But whatever. Anyways, have a good night, guys. Guys, so I am Leon House. And I am making a video for today. And I wanted to say hello to everyone. I will be doing the apps like I normally do. Which, uh, that's me. I do DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Sakart Spark, etc. Um, usually just DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Instacart for the most part. This Instacart, DoorDash lately because it's been busier. Uh, Spark if it's super dead, but I don't, I don't know. I think I've already went over this kind of stuff before, but I'm going to go get some breakfast soon here and get our day started. Hopefully today goes as good as yesterday, other than the drama that I had with a couple orders and a couple customers. Other than that, it was a good day. I made like right at 300 or a little below that, uh, probably like 285-ish, maybe a little bit more. Um, it was crazy busy. Didn't start till 10 yesterday. Hopefully, I'll do a little bit better since I'm starting it right at 9-ish. Anyways, bye guys. Hey guys, so I've been at it since 8.30-ish. Well, I think I got my first order at 8.45, if I didn't even talk correctly. Starting to crash, so I need some more caffeine or, well, kombucha. I think it has a little bit of caffeine in it. I'm going to get one of those. Uh, probably... I don't know, maybe a Coke at McDonald's. I drink those every day, uh, pretty much. They're pretty good. Um, or I go with a mix of the Fanta into Sprite, or not Fanta. I go with the Sprite mixed with the High C, which makes it almost like Fanta, but it's added high, or added vitamin C. There we go. And that usually seems to wake me up a little bit. Anyways, I better get back to it. It's uh, okay day so far. It's starting to pick up. It's been slow, but I've been uh, taking orders, uh, whatever I can, and I'm up to around 80 or so, and I got another order. There's a new shopping tab on DoorDash. You probably have seen it before. I'm not sure, but um, this is what it looks like. It's underneath your regular ratings. You go here and you've got all these different stats and whatnot that you're trying to keep up with. Like uh, you want to keep 90% there and uh, I don't know what there, but uh, substitution choice, you want to keep it 1%. This is what confuses me. These are my good substitutions, but then here's a bad substitution really confusing as that was a pre-approved item um i didn't know we could get bad substitutions on an item that they have supposedly pre-approved maybe doordash has pre-approved it i have no idea but still i didn't that dumbfounds me i are we supposed to confirm with the customer every time we do a pre-approved item i have done almost 10,000 deliveries on doordash now as you can see and I have never known that if that's the case. I showed up at the customer's house and the other driver was there and I confronted her about the order that she grabbed that wasn't her order and I feel kind of dumb for doing so. And I might make a long video on this actually, but I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, touch on a little bit of it. Showed up at the store, she'd already grabbed it. They said that uh, she didn't have the order, but you know, they went ahead and let her take the other order which if they called you know the customer had it canceled and everything and or at least to had the customer say that they wanted to pick it up and and you know everything like that it's totally fine but they didn't do it the proper way so it gets sent out to another driver and then the driver has to show up at the store to pick up the order 
And then what happens is we have to cancel it and we don't get paid, you know, anything for canceling it. And it really kind of sucks. But 